Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. One, two, one, two. Coom Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. It's the morning of the weigh-in. We're at Ben Formella Fight Week here at the Matchroom Bubble. I'm joined by Sean Kearns, who I wasn't 100% sure how to pronounce your name because it's like Cairns. <laughs> it's Cairns as in Australia, as in the place in Australia. Oh, right. Cairns, simple, isn't it? I've never heard of the place Cairns in Australia, I have to admit. It's second name's not Cairns. If, you if, you, if your second name wasn't Cairns, I don't think you would know that either. Do you know about a place called Australia Cairns? Yeah. There you go. It's you. you you're more travelled than I am then. You're messing, aren't you? I get a nosebleed if I go out of Liverpool. <laughs> um, let's talk about your fight, first of all, uh, with Liam Davies. Um, yeah, talk to me about how the fight came about, first of all. It's supposed to happen on the 6th of December. And then... That show got cancelled and within four days I was on this show. It was just crazy. It just happened that fast. So I'm assuming you and your team didn't waste any time kind of pondering over it. The opportunity came and you guys have yeah. taken it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just lucky I didn't go and pick out on the Friday. It got, got cancelled on the, sorry, on the, like, the Wednesday or the Thursday, the 6th of December show. And I could have easily just so went out and just picked out and been back to 10 stone. But I never... I had a good feeling something was going to happen, stayed on waiting, this, luckily enough this happened, so it's a good job. You were talking in the press conference yesterday how you said first 10, then, but you said as little as seven years ago that oh, yeah. you wouldn't have seen yourself in this situation. I was a little bastard, yeah. I was, I was, uh, I was up to all sorts. It's just nothing to be proud of, but it just shows how good boxing is for people and how it can change lives, doesn't it? So, that's, I'm just still shocked. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. What was you doing seven years ago then? Do you really want to know? Yeah, actually, I'm asking. I was doing if I'm saying that. I have no know. idea. I literally have no idea. Just, yeah. I was, <laughs> I've got to tell you now, right? I was sneaking on docks, robbing ships. What do you think I was doing, mate? That's what I was doing. I used to sneak on docks and I'm trying to rob ships. That's what I used to do. I'm by the docks, Liverpool's on the docks. I used to rob them. No, rob, not rob the ship as in joyride and rob the fucking safe side of the ship. And, and then, as you know, I've done a lot of bad things. Yeah, they've got my DNA, you can nick me now, but that was a long time ago. Um, and then, as you know, I've done all sorts of kooks. It's nothing to be proud of. You could actually, you could, I could actually write a book now. But we'll wait till I've finished. You're probably right. You could probably make a film on me if I do well in the boxing. You can do it. IFL TV presents. IFL TV productions directed by Coogan Cassius. We, we can definitely talk about that, Sean, 100%. Yeah, yeah but I'm not proud of it, mate, and I'm not. And I'm not sitting here laughing, but it's just that you put me on the spot. But being serious again, it's just boxing saves lives and changes lives. And it's, it's the best sport in the world for it, isn't it? Even, I wouldn't get a footy player saying that to you, would you? Do you know what I mean? It's interesting, yesterday Eddie Hearn was talking about this and kind of picked up on, on your comments yesterday. And it, it's a bit of an old cliche in boxing that boxing saved lives, but it's almost very true, it's almost too true how much it has helped people like yourself and other people, not just from Liverpool, but all around the country and all around the world, where they would have probably been doing something else if it wasn't for the sport of boxing. Yeah. 100%. Like, everyone who I used to know, everyone who I used to knock around with before I put my me, me hand seriously to boxing, which I'd had, three, I'd had three pro fights before I'd done that, they've all got seven, eight years in jail. And luckily enough, I made a breakaway from them just before all that happened. So, I'd have only been sitting in a jail cell right now. Do you know what I mean? So, it just shows. Uh, what point in your life, though, did, did it click or something? A screw turned or something happened, a moment happened where you thought, do you know what, that life ain't for me. I want to do something constructive and positive. It's just, uh, and there's just, there's no loyalties in that game. There's no loyalties one bit. People will sell you out if, 
you're not worth anything to them. They'll pretend to be your mate, and the minute you're not worth nothing, they're not your mate, you know what I mean? They're not, there's no loyalties. Whereas the likes of I've got now, I've got the likes of, I've got Robbie Butler, my coach, I've got Steve Latham, and I've got George Wilson, and I've got Jay Tinker, who I've known them all five, six years tops, five years tops. And I'm closer to them than people I would grew up with doing all that with all my life. Do you know what I mean? And I can't thank them people who have just mentioned enough. They helped me so much. And there's no loyalties in that game, so if you are involved in it, don't do it. Because people think they're your mates enough. They're just not. They're just not. People could think you're talking about boxing as well, yeah? Well, yeah, but not. <laughs> maybe the... Maybe the um, the dark side of boxing, yeah, but if you've got a close gym and a close loyal gym, and close, we've got a, there's a small circle of us and no one else gets in. No one gets in. There's me, Robbie, Steve Latham, Jake Barton, George Wilson, Jay Tinker. That's it. No one else gets in. No, there's a, a bit of a tongue and cheek comment there for myself. I just, you know, we know there's a lot of politics that surround boxing as well, but... The, the positive side of boxing kind of outweighs everything negative, so. Yeah, yeah, million percent. Especially in the amateurs for the kids. Amateur boxing, I recommend any any, any adult to put the, the child in, in amateur boxing. Whether they go far or not, it'll just teach them discipline and respect and it's just, I think every kid should go to boxing gym. No matter what, even if they're not gonna be a professional boxer, even if they're not even gonna Box at like at high amateur level, they're just involved around the people. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's so much learning in a, in a boxing gym than than there is even in schools. So. Let's talk about your fight with uh, Liam Davis. What kind of fight can we expect to see tomorrow? Well, he seems a confident kid, Liam, doesn't he? So he's, you know, I don't know. I just have to see what happens. I don't even can I'm not even going to tell you now, anyway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I'm winning that fight, hands down. At the end, not dangling carrots like that to me, and I'm gonna gonna lose. You're back on if you win. He's getting flattened, mate. Straight up, flattens. Okay, okay, all right. This is good. I wasn't asking for your game plan. I was asking just to see what kind of fight can we expect. But it seems like fighting yeah. it because he's he's a game kid, and he so he's seven and all. He's a confident kid, so he hasn't lost. He's gonna be full of beans. So. Okay, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Because I know you're weighing in in literally a couple of hours. You wouldn't think I was weighing in, would you? No, you look, you look well. No. Yeah, bang on weight. No, that's it, just thanks for the interview. That's all. Yeah, he's laughing. I can't believe I've never interviewed you before. You've never interviewed me? No, I know, I know, haven't you? You've interviewed me, haven't you? I don't think, have we met before? Don't say yes. Oh, don't, can you say. blank me? Cause it was, don't say yeah, that, that's a lie. Because it was in the away corner. Well, the away corner. Well, you fought my gold rig? Yeah, you just won. Walk well, past me like that. Never happened. You've never had those sponsors on me trackies and that. You're just snobbing me. Never, never. I was at your fight with McGoldrick, but I didn't do that. There's no chance in heaven's earth did I do that. <laughs> I'm only messing. I'm only joking. Sean, wish you the best of luck tomorrow night, and uh, we'll catch up after your fight. Yeah, man. Top man. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.